Hey y'all, I am making something really quick and it's actually for a snack. The grandbabies are here after mom and dad gets home from work and they decided they wanted to swim and they wanted some of Nan's um, peanut butter and jelly French toast. And I know that sounds strange y'all, but it's delicious. So I've started a little bit of the prep. Our youngest granddaughter has never had peanuts yet because of her age. So one of my sandwiches are just jelly, no peanut butter in hers. Um, I think she would be fine. None of us have allergies to peanut butter, but just in case, we're not gonna let her have one with peanut butter in it yet. So I used a scoop and spread and made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, cut the crust off, and then I'm gonna just take the paring knife and I cut each of those sandwiches into thirds. So it's like little strips of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And it will be squished if you're using the mini deep covered baker, which is what I'm using, but it works perfectly for this. Okay, so I've got them all in there. And then for the um, fridge, I'm, the crust is my favorite part. <laughs> I'll probably be eating some of those crusty pieces. All right, so I went ahead and put two eggs inside the small batter bowl. And this recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I don't really measure this. I kind of measure with my heart. I do measure the milk and this is one third cup milk. Okay. And then cinnamon. We only sell the cinnamon with Pampered Chef in the fall. But oh my goodness, y'all, it is the best cinnamon. I stock up, I get three or four bottles every fall because I don't want to run out. So I'm a little heavier, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon. And I'll share this recipe with you so you don't have to write all this down. Now, this is another one I measure with my heart instead of uh, a measuring cup. And we need, it says um, one half teaspoon of maple syrup. And then of course we'll have some for dipping if we want to. So that is it. So I'm gonna take our little mini whipper and just whip up this ingredients. I've got the oven preheating at 400 degrees and it's about halfway there. They decided they wanted this, so I came inside and changed clothes. I love summertime because we can stay out later after work. We got a lot of sunshine and the playtime left. And luckily my daughters and son-in-laws live on each side of me, so they get to hang out over here in the pool with us. So this will be their little after pool snack. So I've just got that mixed together. And now I'm going to pour this right on top of these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yum, yum. This is actually a Pampered Chef recipe. And when I saw it for the first time, I thought, oh, who wants peanut butter and jelly? as French toast, but I made it and it is actually delicious and the grandkids love it. Y'all see that? So I will pop this in the oven when it gets preheated and I'm going to bake it uncovered. But if you've never seen the mini deep covered baker, this is it. And this is what it looks like with the lid on it. It's stoneware. Um, it's glazed stoneware on the outside and the traditional stoneware on the inside. And I love, love using this for small little things like this. So anyway, y'all stay tuned and I will, if I don't get to come back on, I'll take pictures and put it at the end and show you what this deliciousness looks like. Stay tuned. Hey, it is done and it's hot. I just took it out of the oven tried to get the grandbabies to come in, but they're still in the pool and they don't want to get out and I don't blame them. So you can see on the bottom there that the egg is done. So once it cools a little bit more, I'll get some slices out and I'll try to put some on a plate and take pictures before I take it out to the pool because they will gobble it up quickly. They are hungry and ready for it to be done. <laughs> 